Let's say Alice is a 73-year-old widow who owns a traditional IRA. As of December 31st of last year, her IRA had a balance of $500,000. To calculate her RMD, Alice, with the help of her financial advisor, will determine her actuarial life expectancy using the IRA Uniform Lifetime Table. Each year, she'll determine her RMD by dividing the year-end balance of her account by the life expectancy factor that corresponds to her attained age. To calculate her RMD for this year, Alice uses the life expectancy factor from IRS tables, 26.5 years, divides her account balance by this factor, and determines that her RMD for this year is $18,868. Therefore, for this year, Alice must take a distribution of at least $18,868 and pay taxes on her distribution. Each year going forward, Alice will determine the required distribution for her IRA by dividing the year-end balance of her account by the factor that corresponds to her attained age. Of course, Alice can always take more than the minimum required distribution in any given year. But remember, if Alice takes less than her required minimum distribution in any given year, she'll owe a tax penalty of 25% on the difference between her required distribution and her actual distribution.